Hey guys, it's Christian from Racknerd back with another video for you guys today. Today we're talking in depth about some feedback we've discovered with Solus VM version 2. We dug into Solus VM version 2 since it was released back on October 17th. We also made a video about it right away here on our YouTube channel. We wanted to share all our initial impressions with the community as well as our findings, which we believe will ultimately benefit providers in the Solus VM ecosystem, and as such, benefit end users. Without further ado, let's get into it. The team here at Racknerd has spent a considerable amount of time testing Solus VM version 2 internally since it was released and found that overall, while it is off to a great start, and certainly has a much more visually appealing interface, it is still missing some core features that Solus VM 1 previously had. And V2 is essentially Solus IO, rebranded as Solus VM 2. To further illustrate this fact, the Solus IO website now redirects back to solusvm.com. Work needs to be done to Solus VM 2 before it can be suitable for hosting providers currently on Solus VM 1. Now, the good news is that the Solus VM team has been quite supportive and receptive to our feedback in the numerous interactions we've had with them so far. And based on the findings we have provided so far, they're working to implement those features and changes in upcoming Solus VM releases to make Solus VM better for everyone. So in this video, we're gonna go over some feedback of what we were able to share so far. This information will be useful to fellow hosting providers utilizing Solus VM to know about, or for end users that utilize hosting providers that use Solus VM control panel. So let's begin. Number one, the importer tool that Solus VM plans to release in Q1 of 2023, we'll be doing a takeover, which will be an installation of agent on the, on the existing Solus VM slave nodes. Number two, the importer tool will cover everything that is necessary for VPS functioning and management, such as IP blocks, plans, etc. The importer tool is also going to complete the process of converting the slaves, now referred to as computing resources, automatically so that the hosting providers will not need to manually log in to each hypervisor and transition it one by one. Next, we brought up additional suggestions and feedback on how the importer tool can be better tailored for existing hosting providers utilizing Solus VM 1, specifically with WHMCS as well. On that front, Solus VM developers are currently researching suggestions on how they can be implemented. We will share more news on this when we're able to. Number three, in our testing, we got the overall feeling that Solus VM version two, previously Solus IO, was designed with a focus on postpaid billing model. Solus VM support confirmed this when we asked. For example, right now for prepaid VPS customers, there is no front end access for customers to manage their VPS with Solus VM two. The good news is that Solus VM developers plan on changing and improving this. In the future release, prepaid users will be able to access Solus VM 2 UI and manage their VPS just like they are now with Solus VM 1. Number four, for hosting providers who currently leverage the reseller feature in Solus VM 1, this will no longer be a feature in Solus VM 2. If you are a hosting provider and are currently utilizing this feature in Solus VM, we advise you to plan to transition off accordingly. Number five, Solus VM currently only supports snapshot for compute resources that utilize either file-based QCOW and thin LVM storage types. For regular LVM, which existing Solus VM 1 nodes are set up as, Snapshot is not supported. We spoke with the Solus VM team concerning this and they have created a case for this. It will be addressed at a future date. Number six, Solus VM 2 will not utilize EB tables at all anymore and will instead utilize open vSwitch for network management. This is great news. Number seven, Solus VM utilizes cloud init for OS images and is no longer based on templates. In comparison, Solus VM 1 utilized hypervisor mounts and libguest FS to handle OS templates. With Solus VM 2, official cloud distro image can be pulled directly from the OS upstream as well. See the link in the description down below for more information on this. Number eight, there are currently no OS images for Solus, 
slash OS upstreams that support GPT out of the box. This will effectively restrict VMs to a maximum disk size of two terabytes. Custom images will need to be created for a larger VM provider. Number nine, there is currently no ability to mount a custom ISO in Solus VM2. A future update will address this and allow custom ISO support. Number 10, in our testing, we have learned that there is currently no way for an administrator to assign additional IP addresses to a VPS. We brought this up to Solus VM's attention also, and they created a case for this, and it is going to be addressed in a future date. Number 11, in our testing, we learned that there is currently no way to enable optional backups via the WHM CS model as a configurable option. We brought this to Solus VM's attention and they created a case for it, which will be addressed in a future update. Number 12, in our testing, we learned that there is no way for an administrator to search for a VPS by an IP address in V2. You guessed it, we went ahead and brought this up to Solus VM's attention and they created a case for it and we'll have some answers for you at a later date also on that. In Solus VM 2, when initiating a migration, you can choose to either retain the same IP address or automatically change the IP of the VPS upon a successful migration. We submitted a suggestion to Solus VM support to subsequently automatically update the corresponding services IP address in WHMCS if the latter option is chosen. And they have created a case for this also to be addressed at a future date. In our testing, we learned that there is currently no way to search for a VPS in the administrator area by hostname, virtual server ID, or KVM ID. We brought this up to Solus VM's attention and they created a case for it, which will be addressed in the future also. Number 15, in our testing, we learned that there is currently no way to lock a compute resource node, similar to the way that you can lock or unlock nodes for a new order or provisioning now in Solus VM 1. We went ahead and brought this up to Solus VM's attention and they have created a case for it to be addressed in a future update also. Number 16, please note that there is also no way to migrate between computer resources that utilize regular LVM to a destination CR with thin LVM. Solus VS developers are planning to add support for such migrations in the near future. Number 17, we made a recommendation to the Solus VM developers in the past to implement Mac IP verification to better handle IP stealing, which is something Solus VM 1 lacked. We're very pleased and excited to say that this feature has finally been implemented in Solus VM v2. The previous method of utilizing EB tables was quite antiquated. This will benefit all providers, especially those who share large VLANs in Solus VM 2. Open vSwitch rules allow sending outbound network packages from a virtual server only if source MAC address is matched with the virtual server IP address. This means MAC IP verification is established and stealing is not possible in version 2. The team at Rackner will continue to test Solus VM version 2 in our staging environments and we will continue to work closely with the Solus VM team with regards to our feedback. What I just mentioned is a simple snippet of what our team was able to discover so far over the course of the past few days. But again, the awesome news is that the Solus VM team is listening to our feedback and plans to address them in future releases. That certainly goes a long way in showing good faith to its customers and community and is definitely something that we can appreciate. We'll keep everyone posted as to if and when Rackner transitions over to Solus VM 2. In the meantime, if you're looking for a reliable VPS provider that actually knows what they're doing, check out our KVM VPS specials today at rackner.com forward slash specials and you won't be disappointed. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.